Good evening, Brendan. That was good morning for me. Good evening to you. Yes, it is. Yeah, because <laughs> you said the big O. I thought that was me. <laughs> <laughs> good evening, Brendan. How are you doing in your comfy chair? Oh, very wonderful, actually. It's very nice. <laughs> Nicely air conditioned as well, isn't it? Yes, it's kind of nice without Nina once in a while, isn't it? Yeah. Shh. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. Of yes, course, it... we're joking. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Um, <laughs> Um, it's just gone half past ten, I believe, in your time, isn't it? Yes, over right. there? Yeah, lovely. And uh, I hope the weather over there is treating you a bit better than what it is over here. Oh, it's very nice. It's is very it? nice, but I like cold weather. Although Crash likes it warm. Oh, yes, I know he does. On, he uh, doesn't like to wear a shirt. No. <laughs> <laughs> and shorts all the time. But he what I didn't get... It, shirts and skins and it just stayed that way. Yeah, what I didn't get with Crash is he always wears gloves. Yes, yes, he, yes, he does. Yeah, he's, I mean, very, he's, he's like Howard Hughes. He's, he's funny about germs. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. I must tell you about Crash. Um, Crash, uh, the, the voices that I do on Crash, I did all the voices on the first one, which is really fun. It's like a, a voice actor's dream to be able to do a ton of voices. You yeah. Know? And then to watch something where you're actually speaking with yourself, <laughs> which is something that only schizophrenics like normally get to do, but yeah. voice actors get to do it too. But uh, the Crash in the first game. Um, is a lot of sound effects. When I got the script, it was like, it's just a list of sound effects. It's like him going, uh, let me see here. I have my script here. yee <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's like, and then the rest of it's like, whoa! You yeah. Know? Um, so if you're an actor and you go to acting school and you get all this training and you read Shakespeare and all that and then you go to your gig and it's like you go yee <laughs> <So. laughs> I'll tell you one of the voices. One I of wasn't vo prepared for that. I was like, what's my motivation? You're, 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 you're being killed by a, a cartoon character. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> one of my favorite sounds that uh, Crash used to do was when you used to win a gem on a level and then he, he used to go da 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 He just used to turn around and do that. He, and he used to have the most strangest face I've ever seen. Yeah, well, I like the face he makes when he goes uh, uh, when he comes back from winning something, and then uh, the Doctor Cortex or somebody is you know t is talking to him, and he kind of looks up, and he looks kind of sheepish and scared. Of it, so. <laughs> yeah. I'll give you a taste of uh, I did Doctor Cortex on the first one. Yeah. Let me give you a taste of that. Let me look it up here. Okay, here we go. Moron! This bandicoot will be my general, and he will lead my Cortex commandos into world domination. This time I shall reign triumphant. Excellent. There's a touch of cortex, and um, how about a bit of, uh, let's see, Nitrous Brio. Oh, yes. This is my favorite character, actually. Yeah, I used to like him. He, he was a neutral character, though, wasn't he? He wasn't evil, and he wasn't a hero. He was neutral. No, he's just a goofy professor is what he <laughs> is, you know? Um, uh, let's see here. You have acquired all the gems. Incredible! The crystals are not the only means of harnessing planetary energy. Right? The gems have that ability as well, and with them I can destroy the cortex vortex forever! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. It, as you say, it must be weird when you play Crash Bandicoot back and you're sitting there listening to yourself. You're yeah. playing the game and you listen to yourself back and you're sitting there thinking, oh my god. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, well, I mean, it must be. The only drag is that some of my characters, I, I'm not good enough at Crash Bandicoot to get to the levels to where they <laughs> appear. <laughs> That's what's frustrating. It's like, man, it took me a year to hear Engine or one of those guys. Yeah. I mean, you you didn't work on I was all like of it. Calling up Naughty Dog, do you just have a tape of my voices? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now you, ha you have to play the game. That's part of the deal. <laughs> you haven't worked on all of the Crash games, though, have you? It's only just been a selected few. Uh, it's been. Oh, it was like one, two, three warped pieces of Crash Team Racing. Um, you know, they use like I mean, once you go in there and do a, you know a couple hours worth of voices, they got it. Yeah. They have a library of you, as they have of you, Mark. Marcus over there in Harbor. They have a library of your voices on the radio. <laughs> so they have a library of my voices, and they can pull out a yee-haw or a wow, you know, and yeah. put it back in there, and then I'm back in, you know. I mean, would you believe that it's now... I, I, I wish they'd do a Crash Bandicoot movie. I'm available, Jason. Oh, I would love that. That'd be cool, <laughs> would wouldn't it? it? That would be really cool, wouldn't it? Well, you know, they always talked about it. That was what we all thought, all us voice actors. Vicky yeah. Winters, me, Glancy. Yeah. We were all we were all thinking, you know, yeah, this is great. We're going to do this game. Little did we know it was going to be so huge, though. You know. Yeah, I know. Uh, uh, but um, we all thought it was going to become like a TV series or something, mm. or, you know, 
Yeah, I mean, a lot of these games nowadays, they are derived from, like, TV series, or they do actually develop into a series or yeah. a film. I mean, th there are a lot of games out there today, and I couldn't understand why Crash didn't, because they're still making them today. I yeah, mean, they're, they're, I, I, maybe they will. You know, maybe yeah. they're waiting. Maybe it's like the Beatles, you know? They just wait till they've squeezed every last drop out, and then they go, okay, now we'll come out with the Rarity yeah. album. Now yeah. we'll come out with, you know... I mean, just other stuff we have under the cupboard, you know. Yeah, I mean, look at the Simpsons. I mean, they've been going for years and they years and years, and now they're now they're finally bringing out a movie. Yeah. I mean, it's taken them all those years to develop, yeah. um, to bring it up. Well, you and know, now. it takes a long time, Mark. <laughs> uh, as a person in Hollywood, you know, we all work on writing. <laughs> we all want to be writers, and it takes a long time. It's hard, hard work. For for myself, I'm just working on my handwriting right now. <laughs> then I'm gonna. Maybe take a, you know, a swing at a script. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Let me give you a touch of, uh, let's see, en Engine. Engine, yes. Yes, this is, uh... The one uh, with the Jason missile Alter in his Ego. head. Let's see, where is it? Oh, okay. But, Dr. Cortex, to reach full power, we need only your master, not only your master crystal, but also the remaining 25 slave crystals from the... From the surface, how do you expect to retrieve them when we don't have any earthbound operatives left? <laughs> now you told me an interesting story about Engine, didn't you? Yeah. About the missile in his head. Yes, that is uh, that Jason Rubin uh, put that missile in his, in his head uh, because Jason Rubin has migraine headaches. So I guess that's how he visualizes what's happening in his yeah, head. Yeah, it's of a course, really good Jason way. Jason Rubin doesn't talk like this. <laughs> I wouldn't work for that. Hello, would you like to do voices for Crash Bandicoot? <laughs> no, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't talk like that, but... <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, it must... I mean, you've become part of what has to be quite a popular platform game since it's ever released. I mean, it's been ten and a half years since it first yeah, released. Yeah, someday I'll be paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, they didn't have the great contract back then, you know, so it was no. just kind of a buyout, so... Yeah. It was a labour of love, but uh, it was some of the most fun I've ever had and I, I really hope to work for those guys again because um, you know you're in a studio with a microphone it's kind of nice you know yeah. there mm. aren't a whole bunch of people looking at you going oh look at him you know <laughs> so it, it's it's nice when you're just in that in that environment where it's you know, yeah. air conditioned you go into this uh, they have a bowl of fruit some mm. water anything you like oh no lovely and, isn't it? and you do the voices and, and it's, uh, it's and then you go home and it's very nice it's different than working on a movie where you have makeup on and all sorts of people yeah. you know, depending on you and, and criticizing you and tapping their foot going when's he gonna be finished you know <laughs> so, I mean I was looking at some of the facts about Crash and it sold over 34 million copies worldwide that's just wait a minute what yeah wait I gotta tell my wife Crash has <laughs> is, is sold over 34 million see all I need is a penny for like <laughs> I mean, and I can go into shops today, ten and a half years on, and I'll still see the very, very first Crash Bandicoot on the Which shelf. Which I just ordered for myself. It's, it's the one. It's the only one I don't have. The one I did all the voices on. I don't have. I just thank <laughs> I have, God for eBay. I just ordered it. So. I have to say, is is probably the best one. I mean, oh, you that's see, great. it apart from the fact you did all the voices, of yes, course, of course. Of course. <laughs> um, <laughs> but no, I mean, that, yeah. the levels right from the start. They were always. Um, you had to think about your next move. There was always a part in the level um, where you had to think, now, do I go that way or do I go this way? It I'll was... look forward to playing that. Yeah, it, you know, it was really good. Because of this interview, I, I dusted off my old uh, PlayStation and plugged it in, and we've been playing uh, um, you know, yesterday, and what's cool is on Crash Bandicoot 2, I, I, we actually got to the end of the game, and yeah. I saved that, and that's kind of fun because once you do that, then you can just kind of navigate... <laughs> all the floors and just go around yeah. and play whatever you know just for fun you can play yeah. all the different things yeah I mean going down the list of some of the characters I mean of course you got Crash Bandicoot um, right. Aku Aku right <laughs> now it, it was quite strange a, a wooden mask that would protect you I could have right. done with one of them the other day um, <laughs> yes you could have yeah you? <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean it was an interesting character because it was just a wooden mask and right. it would protect you for one hit or right. if you got three, which then I you... always lose right away. <laughs> I always yeah. get it. It's gold, and then I that. go like two feet, and poof, he's gone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> or I used to get it, and then fall down a hole, and then I always. completely go <laughs> waste it. Um, <laughs> um, I like Aku Aku. I like uh, Ripperu. Uh, oh, Ripperu! His laugh makes me <laughs> makes uh, me chuckle. Yes, I, I did. I think I did Ripperu. Uh, maybe not. I have pinstripe. Did I do Ripperu? I did some, so many characters, so little time. <laughs> um, 
I mean, yeah. Pinstripe was a was a funny looking character because he was. Pinstripe was good. That was I, I think uh, I'll tell you when I used to go do those. Uh, he was one of the characters that I grabbed, and I forget what he does. He just laughs a lot or something. He does, yeah. Um, but uh, he, you know, when I went to do them, they'd say, "Okay, we want you to do Crash Bandicoot, or we want you to come in and do Nitrous Brio, or whatever." And I go to the studio, which was Universal Studios, which is kind of fun to go there, mm. and uh, in the sound building over there, uh, kind of in the basement. And uh, they would have drawings. When you go do uh, animation, they have drawings of the character because the, the cartoon isn't done yet, or the animation isn't done. You know, mm. they do the vo- they do the voices first. I don't know if your listeners know that, but they generally they do the voices first and then animate to the voices. Um, so there, you go into a room and there's all these sketches, and you pick up your sketch and you look at him and go, maybe he sounds like this, maybe he sounds like this. You know, and you kind of figure yeah. out what he sounds like. Mm. And then what I would do is I'd say I'd look at you know these three other sketches and I go, oh, who's who's, uh, who's doing these guys? And they'd say, well, uh, we don't have somebody yet. And I go, well, let me try. And uh, and then they just go, oh, that was good, and they keep it. Yeah. So you know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I I found out earlier they're actually making another Crash game, and yet another one, uh, Crash uh, Crash of the Titans, I think it was. Crash of the Titans. <laughs> yeah, uh, a, a spoof of Clash of the Titans, the film. I think that well, you know, now that you tell me, Mark, that thirty-four million. Right. Yeah. Now come on. They should name this thing Cash Bandicoot. <laughs> <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh dear. Let's, oh dear. let's level. Let's level on the level. <laughs> oh the next dear. one should just be Cash Bandicoot, and instead of fruit, he's just collecting checks. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> <laughs> With Hollywood uh, people. Yes. Yeah. Half of them um, in rehab, and the uh, other half. Well, what can you do? <laughs> Um, also, I was looking down the list, and I, Tiny Tiger. Um, yes. Now, that wasn't one that you done, was it, Tiny yes, Tiger? no, it was. No, it was? Yes, yes, no, I did. Th- that was one of the ones I picked up on on, uh, on the fly like that, like, who's doing Tiny Tiger? Well, you are, you know. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, uh, I, I did a voice. I wanted to make him uh, kind of like Frankenstein, like, you know, scary but stupid. Yeah. You know, like, look at the pretty flowers. Like, you know, somebody that would... So I, I, I think he... I, it won't sound like him because they lowered it. We lowered. They had a pitch transposer there, and they lowered it. But the intent was like this: crash, <laughs> like that. You know, yeah. oh, 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 needs the blah, blah, whatever. And then yeah. they just lowered that. But I tried to make him sound like kind of childlike, but you mm. know, threatening. Yeah. I mean, I, I looked up on Tiny Target, and I noticed that um, John DiMaggio done the voice uh, voice help in the Tiny Tiger, yes, who was um, Tiny. Bender from Futurama. Because we yes. uh, interviewed uh, John a few weeks back. Now, he, yes, see, it's kind of like being in Jethro Tull. It's like the people just come in and come out. <laughs> There's 12 different bass players, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> some of the voices, there were so many different um, names when I was looking at that, that list of the characters you sent me. Clancy, was, what is it, Clancy uh, Brown, Dickie Winters. Yeah, there was loads. Uh, there's a lot of people. I'm sure there's a lot of, uh, you know, more mm. famous kind of people, too. I haven't looked at that list in a while, but... Now, two last questions. Firstly, yes, if you were offered to do Crash again, would you? Oh, God, I I, I would do it. For, I would do it for free. <laughs> Maybe we I should create our own game. I'm counting that they don't listen to this station. <laughs> but I I would do it for free just because I mean it's imagine just imagine how much fun that is to get up yeah. in the morning. Okay, honey, I'm going off to do cartoon voices at Universal Studios. Okay, don't be late. <laughs> I mean it's you know. Yeah, I know. You Maybe know? we should create our own one. What's that? We should create our own Crash Bandicoot game. Uh, yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. And when they sue us, that's publicity. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and uh, the last question, going away yes, from sir. Crash, um, what are you actually doing with yourself at the moment? Do, do you still work with games, or have you expanded from working in the game industry? Oh, I've just been doing different things, you know. I've been writing mainly. Yeah. Know? But I'd, I'd like to uh, get back into doing it, it, actually, if people want to contact me, they can uh, at, at brendanobrien.com. There's uh, there's some links there to Crash Voices and to my IMDb, and, and there's an email, and you can email me and, uh, for what it's worth, and I'll email you back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know that. <laughs> I right. know that. Yeah, it's been having a good little chinny wag about Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's absolutely. lovely. 
Yes. Um, right, okay, right. I'm going to have to leave it there, unfortunately, because we're cutting short on time. But thank you very okay. much for spending the time with me this evening, Brendan. It, it's been it lovely. Was it was very nice to talk to you. And yeah. My best to Nina, and I'm going to hang up the phone and plug in my computer and listen to the rest of your show. Yes, please okay. do, please do. Okay, okay, thanks for taking the time out, Brendan. My pleasure. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.